Tell me, what was Operation Glowing Symphony? Operation Glowing Symphony was one of the ways um, that the U.S. government used the Department of Defense to, to try and uh, disrupt uh, Islamic State networks and communications through propaganda. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me a bit about ISIS's cyber warfare capabilities. Were these affected by the operation? Our chapter looks at uh, ISIS's cyber warfare capabilities. And one thing we really try to do before getting into the heart of our chapter is dig into what are perceptions versus what is the reality of uh, ISIS's capabilities. Because oftentimes what they're capable of doing is somewhat inflated, um, sort of making it more scary and more intimidating. So what we've done is sort of talked about the production and distribution of propaganda, which is perhaps the most common and best known uh, contribution in, in way the Islamic State use the internet. Next is the mobilization uh, and facilitation of physical operations. Uh, and third is the posturing, planning, and execution of network attack operations. So ultimately, evidence from uh, court filings and, and publicly available documents suggests that the Islamic State did have uh, cyber warfare capabilities, but the nature of those capabilities um, was not necessarily as sophisticated as, as it uh, initially looks. What is so special about ISIS's propaganda? Why does this seem a pro like a problem that's unique to ISIS when compared to other groups like Hezbollah and Al Qaeda? Is there any precedent for their online media presence? Uh, the Islamic State really built on a legacy of organizations that have been experimenting with uh, media operations and media capabilities from uh, Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda in Iraq, uh, Al Shabaab, AQIM. Um, looking at let all these groups, Hezbollah, uh, that use communications and, and build their capability with communications. So the Islamic State isn't entirely different from these groups, but it does work in a very contemporary landscape and its ability to leverage um, all of these different tools, whether it's traditional static websites, whether it's messaging platforms and social media, whether they're using encrypt or technologies with encryption features or um, file sharing sites. They're really just uh, taking advantages of all of the technological affordances they have access to today. So it's not so much that their activities are entirely unprecedented so much as they're building on an environment um, that was really in foundation that was laid by other competitors and predecessors. What do you think Operation Glowing Symphony can tell us about the future of technology and conflict in the Middle East? To be clear, I think that there's a lot we still don't know about the impact of Operation Glowing Symphony um, and the circumstances in which the U.S. government might leverage similar approaches in the future. From this study, we can say that uh, technology-related measures were supplemental to a variety of initiatives. And years ahead, it'll be important to recognize that the benefits and challenges associated with using these technologies um, is really important, but we also have to understand how uh, Operation Glowing Symphony and initiatives like it will likely only represent a mechanism in a more complex toolbox.